Today, nearly three million food trucks troll the streets of American cities and towns, with at least 10 new ones starting up each week. But it might surprise you that the roots of this trend go back more than a century to the very edge of rural America, Indian Territory. Food trucks rose out of the need to feed working men on the road. And in the 1800s, some of those men were the cattlemen of the American West. In 1866, Texas rancher Charles Goodnight was preparing for a huge cattle drive, moving a herd of 2,000 longhorns from Texas to an army post in what's now New Mexico. The journey would take eight weeks on a dangerous trail through Indian territory. Much of it was desert, where food would be hard to come by. So Goodnight modified a durable army surplus wagon called a Studebaker and invented the chuck wagon a kitchen on wheels. He mounted a wooden box to the back and added shelves and compartments to store condiments and cooking utensils. A hinged lid opened up to become the cook's workstation, as well as a table to serve food. Food on the cattle drives was simple and easy to keep, like beans and salted meats, biscuits and coffee. To the cowboys, chuck was slang for good heartwarming food so the wagon became known as the chuck wagon. On the other side of the country, in the cities of New England, another kind of kitchen on wheels was taking off. The lunch wagon, whose night version was known as the night owl. Horse-drawn streetcars were joining their ranks too. As these wagons became obsolete, they were often retrofitted into food venues. When they lost their wheels, they gave birth to the American Diner. Today's gourmet food trucks are getting a lot of attention. And with today's technology and a lot of creativity, these full-fledged kitchens on wheels are evolving from the ordinary into the unexpected. <laughs> 